stories for bedtime. And car time. And play time. And any time you want to hear how much Jesus loves you in all this world. Even little birds. Hi, I'm Pastor Sarah at St. Paul Lutheran Church in Davenport, Iowa. And I'm here to tell you stories. Stories told just for kids or kids at heart. Every week, I am going to tell you a story about Jesus from the Bible. But for these stories on this podcast, we are going to need to bring our imaginations. We are going to imagine that there was a little bird in all of those Bible stories, a little bird who was friends with Jesus, a little bird who saw all the stuff that Jesus did and heard all the things that Jesus said. And today, since this is our very first story, we are going to start at the very beginning, even before Jesus was born. Our story starts with Mary, the mother of Jesus. So wherever you are listening, settle in, open your ears and your hearts for our first story. Little Bird and Mary Meet an Angel Little Bird and Jesus were friends, best friends, or at least Little Bird was Jesus' best bird friend. She had known Jesus since before he was born. She was there on that incredible day when Mary learned she would become a mom and have a little baby named Jesus. It was a beautiful spring day. Little Bird was out on a branch on an olive tree, soaking up the warm sun, enjoying the flowers that were just beginning to blossom. Little Bird was a sparrow, a tiny bird no bigger than an apple. She was every shade of brown, with eyes the color of chocolate, and feathers like sand and wood and soil. But even though she was little, she was strong and brave. Little Bird loved to sing as loud as she could. And on that day, she was so excited about spring that she sang even more boldly than usual. She wasn't aware of a young woman who was nearby, scrubbing her clothes in a bucket of soapy water. But the young woman, whose name was Mary, noticed Little Bird and heard her singing. Aren't you a pretty little bird, she said, singing so beautifully. Little Bird was surprised. No one usually noticed her. She was just a sparrow, ordinary not particularly fancy or even colorful or unique. But she was so excited that she just puffed up her feather chest and sang even more. Mary sang a little tune right back to her. (laughs) Praise God, praise God. So Mary sang and did the laundry and Little Bird chirped until suddenly, out of nowhere, there stood a man with them, almost glowing, practically glittering. His clothes were bright and shining, his eyes sparkled, and this glittering man also had wings, just like a sparrow, well, more like an enormous eagle. Little Bird was so surprised at the sight of this angel, and she hopped in fear to hide behind the leaves of the tree. Mary, too, hid her face behind her hands, terrified. But the sparkling man spoke with such gentleness. Peace be with you, Mary. Do not be afraid. And then the angel looked at Mary with such kind eyes and said, 
God has chosen you to do something really special. Mary's mouth dropped open. Me? There must be some mistake. The angel smiled brightly and nodded. Well, it's true. My name is Gabriel, and God sent me to tell you that you are going to have a son, and you will name him Jesus, and he will be unlike any other baby ever born. But Mary questioned him. How can this even be? I'm not even married. At this point, Little Bird was no longer afraid, but really curious. What was this winged man named Gabriel going to say next? Little Bird hopped to the edge of the branch to be able to hear even more. Gabriel said, Nothing is impossible with God. This baby will be a gift from God. Your child will be holy. He will be the Son of God. Everyone will look at him in wonder and he will rule the whole universe forever and ever. After Gabriel said this, he looked at Mary, waiting for her response. Mary sat still, taking time to think carefully. And after a while, she stood up, brave and confident, and she nodded. Yes, I am God's servant. I will do what God asks. Let it be as you said. Little Bird didn't think that Gabriel could become even brighter, but as Mary spoke, he shimmered so brilliantly in joy and expectation. The sight made Little Bird want to shine too, and without even thinking about it, Little Bird started to sing, praising God for all that she was experiencing. Gabriel turned to the branch where Little Bird perched and smiled a radiant smile. Then, just before he flapped his own big wings to fly away, Gabriel whispered, Keep singing, Little Bird. God is doing something amazing, like nothing this world has ever seen. The winged angel was gone as quickly as he had arrived. Mary was standing, and it was almost like she was glittering too, her face so bright. She stood still for a long time, and so did Little Bird. And then Mary walked over to the branch where Little Bird was and looked at her and whispered, Did you see what I just saw? I didn't imagine it, did I? Little Bird shook her tiny head, and Mary said, What a marvelous thing! I am going to have a baby. Me? Just ordinary Mary of Nazareth, as ordinary as a common sparrow like you. But I'm going to have a baby, an amazing baby. This is a big job that I have been given. I hope I am up to it. But thank God I am not alone. God is with me. And so are you, little bird. Absolutely, said little bird, with the most confident tweet she could muster. And she started to sing her little song of praise again. God was doing amazing things, coming into this world as a tiny baby, born of an ordinary and extraordinary young woman named Mary. So kids, what stood out for you in that story? What do you think that Gabriel looked like? Maybe you can draw a picture of Gabriel talking with Mary and with Little Bird. And maybe you can imagine, imagine how Mary felt when she heard those words. Do you think she was excited or scared? Maybe both excited and scared. You could call the word skited. <laughs> 
Mary was so brave, trusting God and saying yes to being Jesus' mom. Wasn't she brave? Well, this week, I invite you to practice being brave and saying yes to something that makes you scared and excited, a little skited. And when you do, remember that just like Mary, God will always be with you. And that's the end of this episode of Little Bird and Jesus. Now flap your little wings. Sing a little song. And remember that to Jesus, you, you will always belong. Thanks for listening to Little Bird and Jesus, a podcast of St. Paul Lutheran Church in Davenport, Iowa. For more information on St. Paul, visit us at stpaulqc.org. Come visit us again next week as Little Bird continues her journey.